Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my curly hair routine and today's video is actually brought to you by MixEasy.com. They were nice enough to reach out to me and ask if I wanted to try some of their product and I said yes because after I looked at their website I saw that the the type of products that they have and the way that you pick your products is just so cool but I'm going to show you more about that later on in the video. I just want to kind of talk to you a little bit about how my curly hair routine starts and how MixEasy.com ties into that. So I have been struggling with my hair for a while, probably ever since my son was born because I had postpartum shedding and I just wasn't able to find the right haircut, the right products. I just felt like my hair was thin and lifeless and it just, it wasn't cute. It definitely didn't perform the way that it used to. Since I had my son, I've had like nothing but struggles with trying to find the right products and everything. But my curly hair routine actually starts the night before with shampoo and conditioner. So with MixEasy.com, you actually go in and select the ingredients that go into the products that you're ordering, even down to the scent. So I really like that, and I like the fact that you can kind of pinpoint the areas that you want the most performance out of your product. So for me, it was definitely um, volume, hair growth, um, just an overall fuller look in my hair. I'm actually going to show you guys how I selected my shampoo and conditioner um, with a little uh, screen capture. I'll show you how I did it. So when I got these products in the mail, I knew that I was going to be doing some type of review on them, but I didn't know what kind of video I really wanted to incorporate them into. Um, but I tried them out. I've been using them for a little while now, and the very first time that I used this product, I noticed a difference. My hair was fuller, it was, it almost looked thicker, it just, I could tell a difference. And then it like hit me like, okay, you know what, now I can do my curly hair routine because I'm actually happy with how my hair is looking these days. Up until that point, my hair had been kind of like not my best uh, asset or my most favorite thing about myself just because of like I mentioned before all the postpartum shedding and it just wasn't looking the same um, so I immediately thought okay curly hair routine because now I can show you guys like how your hair can look um, with a curly hair routine if it's like on the thinner side alright so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the screen capture portion of this video so I can show you how I picked all the ingredients for my shampoo and conditioner and then we're gonna go ahead into the actual curly hair routine um, so you can see what I did to get this full fluffy curly hair. Okay guys, here is the MixEasy.com website. They do offer more than just shampoo and conditioner. You can see face cleanser and face cream. Uh, but we're gonna start out by choosing our base for our shampoo and I just picked normal to colored hair. And then it has you pick up to six natural ingredients and you determine which ingredients you want by what you wanna see um, for your hair. So if you want stronger hair or color protection, or in my case, thicker hair, you can go ahead and pick the ingredients that will give you that. Um, you can also go ahead and select um, different bioactive oils. So you can have thermal protection, or if you want more moisture, argan oil, things like that, um, which I thought was really cool because you can really make a custom blend of exactly what ingredients that you're looking for. And then you can choose your fragrance. I went with a um, more bright scent. Uh, formula name. So you can put whatever name you want on here. So this is just for you to know what this actual blend is. And then you just put your email in. And you can go to your cart. And it's literally that easy. One other thing, guys. This product is all natural and organic. And it's vegan friendly, cruelty free. All the things that we care about nowadays when it comes to our products. Um, they don't have any dyes, toxins, harsh chemicals, sulfates, any of the bad stuff, um, and they don't test on animals. So I just wanted to uh, fill you guys in on that info as well. Okay, so as you guys saw in the intro, my curly hair routine starts out the night before with shampoo and conditioner. So I always wash my hair and put it in this really tight top knot before I go to sleep. And because my hair is super thin, and the curls definitely need some encouragement. That's why I do this, and if you have thin hair, um, curls that don't really wanna curl on their own, definitely give this a try. I know it's gonna seem a little weird to style curly hair semi-dry, but this is what's worked the best for me because if I don't do it this way, I'm not gonna have any volume at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this bun out, and I just use like a little rubber elastic to put it in these little rubber ones. Then I'm just gonna take my paddle brush and brush everything out. And I do put my part in before I start styling. 
and I kind of just let my hair fall where it wants to fall naturally. Now I do like a little bit of moisture and the uh, mousse that I use actually provides a little bit of moisture but I'm just going to use a spray bottle with some water and just dampen it a little bit because I still want like the underside to be fairly dry because that's how I achieve my volume. Then I use actually two different um, mousses. One's like a more firm hold and the other is like a lighter hold. So I always take my firm hold mousse and I go in with that on the underside. So just kind of coat the underside a little bit just because I feel like that's the part that lays on your neck all the time and has uh, more of a chance to get frizzy because it's like rubbing on the back of your neck and the back of your clothes. Now I'm just going to take the lighter hold mousse and put it through the top of my hair and the ends of my hair. So I just kind of like rake it through. And it's going to like look and feel a little weird putting it on the dry hair at first, but like the more mousse you use, the better it's going to look. At least for me. If your hair is anything like mine, this technique will work for you. If you have like a tighter curl or thicker hair, um, it might not. The, not might, it won't work for you. But for me, this is the only way I found my hair to like have a little bit of life so if I style it from like a fully wet state, it's going to be super flat and just not cute. So then I just keep doing this until everything is like pretty defined. And I like scrunch along the way. Now normally I'll let it dry, air dry like this, but if you're like in a hurry, you can always diffuse it. I've been trying to stay away from heat. The last few years I've only used heat on my hair maybe a couple times just because I'm trying to get it as healthy as possible and my hair is already thin and like not very strong as it is so I'm trying to encourage the health back into my hair. And I always put some like right here in the front too just so I can get that like section to wave up. My hair is like, it's more of like an in-between. It's like a curly slash wavy texture. Just keep scrunching and scrunching. Today I'm not going to use a diffuser. And you can even use a diffuser on like a low heat setting or a cool setting. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it dry, and then once it's dry, I'll come back and show you guys what I do to finish it. And I used to use, like, regular mousse in the past. Like, now I use these ones that are, like, a liquidy kind of mousse, um, and they just work better for me. Like, the other ones, like, just seem to be more sticky and don't really give me the effect that I want. Okay, so that is it for right now. now I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll be back to show you how I like fluff it up and finish everything. Okay, so for the most part, my hair is pretty much dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the finishing touches on it and just kind of fluff it and perfect it to how I, I like my hair. Now, I don't have a mirror in front of me because I'm doing this in my little office area doing my hair. So I'm going to use a mirror because I'm going to show you how I like do my little baby hair situation right here. So hold on one second. Let me get a mirror. So, and this mirror literally I've had since I started my YouTube channel. Like, this was the first little mirror that I bought, and it's got, like, burn marks from a curling wand, and I just, for some reason, and it's broken. For some reason, I just can't let it go. So, that's why it looks like this. Um, but I just take a little bit more of that firm hold gel, and I just pump a little bit out onto my hand like that, and I'm just using a Avengers toothbrush. Um, because that's just what I 
found cheap at the dollar store but I do have an actual baby hair brush I just don't know where I put it it's got like the double-ended uh, type situation it's got a comb and then the little brush on the other side which I do like that a lot and I, it was only like three dollars from Target so I do like that but I just have to find it so I take that firm hold gel and I just kind of start brushing the little baby hairs down and I even take like this area and I kind of just brush it back just because I like that sort of look around the edges of my hair. And I was using the Shea Moisture um, Edge Control Gel to like help regrow hair because after I had my son I started getting a lot of postpartum shedding like here and here. But um, I use that sometimes but I feel like I've just started using the mousse to do this and I feel like it's a little bit better because it doesn't um, leave like a build up so I can put this on and then not have to worry about like washing my hair every day or like a build up starting to happen so kind of like that and then like if I do any other kind of like hairstyle where this side will be showing too I'll go ahead and slick those down but usually I just do this side because I have my hair falling on that side and you don't see it anyways so once that's done then I'm going to go in flip my head upside down which this might be kind of hard for you to see let me see if I can angle it and then I flip it upside down and I just do a lot of shaking a lot a lot of shaking And this is not, it's not going to give you like defined, like perfect curls. It's going to be like a more messy, frizzy kind of a vibe. And that's what I go for. But like, you don't have to do all this like shaking and disrupting of curls. But I prefer to do it like that because I like bigger hair rather than a more perfect curl. And this right here, this area, it curls differently on its own every day. And I just kind of let it do whatever it wants to do. But back in the day, I used to take a curling wand and, like, make this section, like, perfectly curled. But I don't worry about that anymore. And then I always tuck some behind my ear. Usually some will just naturally go on the front on its own. And then I'll take any kind of um, hairspray or, you know, finishing spray, whatever. And I'll just kind of spray underneath just so I can lock that volume in and you can put like shine spray too sometimes I do that if I want it to look less frizzy I'll put a shine spray in but super easy and when I do my hair like this like this is pretty much the only way I wear my hair nowadays I, it lasts for like two three days I can well longer if I count my like ponytail and bun hairdos but just wearing it down like this I can just keep refreshing it and it'll last two or three days and you can just keep spraying and fluffing until your heart's content but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because it's pretty big and pretty much how I like to wear my hair so that is it for this hair tutorial hair look curly hair routine um, I actually just got my hair cut last month after like years of not going and getting it cut. So if you guys want to hear about that story and my experience with that, let me know. I'll um, fill you in on that. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me comments. Um, if you want to tell me how you guys style your curly hair or if there's any other videos you want to see, let me know. And I will see you guys later.